world's top 10's presence 10 problems the U.S. has struggled with for a century. Number 10 is health care, as demonstrated by the Affordable Care Act, more commonly known as Obamacare. Health care is still a highly contentious issue in the U.S. However, the country's history with universal health care goes back all the way to 1915. Observing that the loss of wages as a result of illness or injury was a major cause of poverty, the American Association for Labor Legislation proposed a system of compulsory health insurance designed to protect workers against lost wages and medical costs in the event that they become temporarily unable to work. Number 9 is Reproductive Rights The idea that women have the right to control whether or not they have children did not begin with Roe v. Wade, but rather started to gain traction in the progressive era. As late as the 1870s, new legislation banning contraceptives, as well as literature advocating their use, still passed into law in some states with the express intent of restricting access to birth control. Number 8 is, Immigration Reform. Immigration reform enjoyed widespread support during the Progressive Era, but the reforms that passed weren't really of the sort that we would typically consider progressive today. In fact, immigration reform at the turn of the century was generally of a more aggressively nativist and racist persuasion. Number 7 is, Fighting Trusts and the Robber Barons. Trust busting was really the hallmark of the progressive era. In response to massive corporate conglomeration and trust formation in the late 19th century, which concentrated huge amounts of power in the hands of a small group of individuals, known as captains of industry, or more derisively as robber barons, progressives demanded government intervention to break up the big trusts. Number 6 is, Alcohol and Drug Abuse. The 18th Amendment took effect in 1920, instituting alcohol prohibition throughout the U.S. Less than 15 years later, the 21st Amendment repealed prohibition, acknowledging that the noble experiment was ultimately a terrible idea. Number 5 is, Providing a Living Wage. The U.S. did not institute a federal minimum wage until 1938. The average pay for a railroad worker around the turn of the century was about 10 cents per hour. One of the major struggles of the progressive era and the labor movement was the fight for a living wage for workers, but what once seemed plausible has again fallen out of reach for many people. Number 4 is, the role of the federal government. Many of these contentious issues can ultimately be traced back to a core ideological debate, the role of the federal government in the lives of Americans. The constitutional role of the government was a matter of intense discussion before the U.S. even had a constitution, however, it was during the progressive era that the discussion started to take on its modern shape.
Number 3 is, Protecting the Environment Popular legend holds Teddy Roosevelt as America's first great conservationist Well known as an outdoorsman, he greatly expanded the national park system, campaigned for the protection of at-risk animals and even serves as the namesake of the ever-popular teddy bear. Number 2 is, Gender Equality Discussions of cross-demographic equality and privilege in society reached a new threshold of prominence recently, and while many people look toward an increasingly egalitarian society, it is also worth looking back to evaluate our progress over the last century. Number 1 is, Public Education While many states already had compulsory public education systems by the beginning of the 20th century, the progressive movement aimed to bring about a new level of standardization to public education in the U.S. Guided by Frederick Taylor's idea of scientific management, commonly known as Taylorism, progressives advocated new schooling models designed to eliminate waste and make schools more efficient and centrally managed.